Tonight I was looking through some of the maps of Salton Sea on my iPad. I wanted to uh, check out Mullet Island and I noticed something pretty interesting that I wanted to share. You can see here on my iPad the map of Salton Sea, the southern end. You've got uh, the New River right here, Alamo River here, of course Nyland up here, just to give you an idea of where things are. Now this is uh, Apple Maps and this is satellite imagery. I don't know where they get their imagery from, but depending on how far you're zoomed in, you can you will be viewing different images from different times. They may be the same time, they may not be the same time. So one image could be a day old, another image when you zoom in or zoom out could be months or years old. I don't know how old this exact current image is at this level, but it's probably at least a couple of years old, two, three, four, five years old. And what I noticed is the water levels. If you see here where I'm moving my mouse, you see that the water level comes right up to the farmland. You can see Mullet Island. Notice how far Mullet Island is here from the, from the shore here. And what I noticed is that as I was zooming in, which pulls up a newer image, you can see how much the shoreline has changed. There, we just got a newer image, a more current image, and you can see how much the water line has dropped. Now, I, again, I don't know how long it's been. I don't know what the time is between these two images, but it's striking the amount of, of exposed playa or, or the, the, how much the water has receded. So let's look at that again. You can see this is the shoreline now in the current image right here. And when we zoom out to an older image, look at how much it's receded. So from at some point just a few years ago, Mullet Island right here was quite a distance from the shore. And as we zoom in and change to a newer image, now look, it's only a few hundred yards. I, I don't know the exact scale, but it sure is a whole lot closer. I thought that was interesting. I just wanted to share that with everybody. It's just a sad reminder that if we don't do something soon, this is what's going to happen. It's already happening and it will continue to happen. That shoreline is going to recede and recede and recede until there's not much left at all.